Hello there. Well, what a sorry state to be in when the elected government feels forced to basically declare war on its own super-woke Ministry of Defence. I cannot believe that things have got this low to a position where the government of the day is publicising that it no longer believes its own military is capable of doing the job of defending us because wokeness has captured it. Makes you wonder what ministers actually are aware of. But don't you get led into thinking that this is isolated to the MOD, because it isn't. Every government department has been infested by the woke, hard communist agenda. A UK destroying agenda. And Grant Shapps, the Secretary of State for Defence, has only just woken up to it. And that only comes after a document came to light called the 2023 British Army's Race Action Plan that talks about lowering security vetting requirements so that we can get more non-white overseas recruits into the forces. And also that there's a push to remove Christianity from remembrance. So Shaps is reportedly furious about all this and has commissioned a root and branch review of ethnicity, diversity and inclusivity policies across defence. What a cop-out. We don't need a policy review. We need sackings. And who's going to head up this root and branch review? Let me guess. A super woke judge or other worthy who's climbed the greasy pole of diversity. Or will we get a many years highly regarded and highly decorated senior officer who has seen active service in war zones and can therefore really get to grips with something they are an actual authority on? I'll leave you to guess which. And how long will such a review take? Two years? Five years? And then guess what? It'll probably just conclude that the armed forces are not diverse enough and even more must be done. You can see it coming from miles away. But Mr Shapps will now feel the wrath of the woke civil servants. So I wonder how long it'll be before claims of bullying or worse start surfacing. Now a proper, hard-hitting and cut-through-the-crap review is needed because, to paraphrase Alfred Lord Tennyson, all we've now got is inclusivity to the left of them, diversity to the right of them and a million woke box-ticking bean counters to the rear of them but enemy tanks, machine guns and helicopter gunships ahead of them into the valley of death charge the totally unprepared. Theirs was not to question woke. Theirs was but to diverse and die. Now let's be blunt about this. The core mission of our armed forces is, when required, to put as many enemy combatants into their body bags and military hospitals as possible while minimising our own casualties. That takes a love of and belief in your country, a belief in your fellow comrades in arms, a belief in your training, a belief in your equipment and a belief in your government to get the call right to go to war in the first place. And when you get all of this correct, you have a military to be respected and feared. A military that will not only be there to defend the nation, but also be there to act as a massive deterrent against any potential aggressor. A military that by its mere presence is able to keep or even force the peace. But our current woke agenda can never, ever achieve that. It can only ever achieve military weakness, which I assume is the aim of those engaged in it. Yes, I know there are times for peacekeeping and for soldiers to be diplomatic and those times when they are needed for disaster relief. But the core requirement cannot be diluted by all of that.
And when all that potential recruits and those already serving can see is a system that hates its own country and its indigenous population, you will see recruitment and retention fall off a cliff. And that's exactly what's happening right now. But it seems that our armed forces have been diluted, to the point that the Defence Secretary is concerned enough to put out a public statement where he says such things as Time and resources are being squandered to promote a political agenda which is pitting individuals against each other. This extremist culture has crept in over years and it is time for a proper shake-up. No, it's not. That time was at least two decades ago. Why do we always wait to start hearing the drums of war before we do anything? Anyway, he goes on to say that it's time to refocus on our military being a lethal fighting force. And after 14 years of a Tory government, Shapps had the temerity to say that I can confirm that it is inconceivable that I would allow a lowering of standards on security clearance. This from a government that has allowed the armed forces to become and continue to operate as some sort of publicly paid for woke employment opportunity. Just like all the other departments, the core tasks have been stripped out and have been replaced by the overarching requirement to be and display all things woke. Diversity and inclusion above performance and value for money. And don't forget the Whitehall mandarins pressing for our armed forces to be hoovered up by the Brussels military ambitions, despite Brexit. Now don't get me wrong, there will be many gritty and prepared soldiers, sailors and marines and airmen in our forces. But it must be obvious to all by now that wokeness is weakening the whole. Now having a review into ethnicity, diversity and inclusivity policies will change nothing. No, This, or more likely a future government, is going to have to work out how we get potential recruits and serving personnel to learn or relearn the love of and belief in this country, and to trust their government that they will do all they can to ensure that armed forces personnel are properly treated and get the right training and equipment to do the job. Further, that spurious war crimes claims made against them in decades to come will quickly be squashed, where an ethos that merit is everything reigns supreme, and where the military is concerned merit also includes loyalty to country and colleague. Successive governments have used the excuse of peace in our time to bury the UK armed forces in the deepest woke mire they could find. It will take an almighty struggle to pull them out, or a hideous war with huge losses.